Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So we're in my bathroom again, but that is because for today's video, I'm going to be testing out the new Drunk Elephant hair care and body care. I actually ordered, this is brand new to Sephora, so they actually just released like this little, you know how sometimes when Drunk Elephant comes out with like miniatures of their full sizes, they call them like the littles. So they just released everything pretty much in a little like travel size thing and it was only like 50 bucks and you get to try pretty much everything that was released in like their hair care and their body care so i'm super excited to be testing this out to be honest with you this line does not have good reviews like whatsoever people say that the shampoo sucks that the conditioner sucks the only thing that people really said was okay was like the body wash and the body lotion but they really didn't like like the scalp scrub and the shampoo and the conditioner so i was really like excited to see what everybody like hated about it and what like what it's all about so i'm super excited to test this out today so if you guys are interested go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and let's jump into the shower first things first i absolutely love this bag i'm like obsessed with it i'm not gonna lie that is actually one of the main reasons why i bought it because i was like oh my god this neon bag is just so freaking cute so in here you do get a little comb like that comes with it and then you do get I think this is the full size of the scalp scrub this is the TLC how happy scalp scrub so I'm pretty sure this is the full size of it and then you get the what is this one this is the wild marula tangle spray so this is kind of just like a leave-in conditioner type thing after you're done washing your hair then this is the glossening shampoo the shampoo that has horrible horrible reviews so i'm super interested to see how this plays out and then you have the marula cream conditioner so that's what this looks like honestly i really think this packaging is so cute i am a huge fan of drunk elephants packaging and i'm also a huge fan of their skincare you guys know that i always like talk very very highly of their skincare so to see those like really bad reviews is kind of disappointing but it is what it is and then you have the camille cream body cleanser so it looks like that if it's gonna focus all right there you go by the way you get two fluid ounces in each of these except for the scalp no you get two fluid ounces fluid ounces in the scalp scrub too and then this is the body lotion not gonna lie i tried this this morning because i already showered today and then this came in the mail so i did try this this morning and i actually liked it so there's that and then the last thing this is probably one of the only things that has really really good reviews this is the sweet pity deodorant cream so this one i am also super excited about if you guys have been watching my channel for a while then you guys know that i am like a big fan of like little kits like this i love when brands do this because i feel like if you get to try pretty much everything without having to invest so much money into like the full size stuff so i think that's like super super awesome so yeah so i'm just going to i have a bathing suit on so don't like freak out but i do have a bathing suit on and i'm just going to wash my hair and wash my body and kind of give you guys my thoughts on all of these so yeah so the first thing i'm going to try is the scalp scrub i'm a big fan of scalp scrub i like the way one and i like the Brio zero one i think that they're awesome like i said this has horrible reviews people said they felt like it didn't even do anything so i'm excited to see how good or bad this is. So I probably should have read the directions first, but I didn't. I just assumed it'd be like every other scalp scrub, but it says to do it on dry hair, but I mean, our hair's already wet, so I'm just going to put this all over my head. So I did have to put my fan on, so I do apologize. It's super loud in here now, but I had to put it on because the camera was fogging up, so. I had to put it on, so now it's super, super loud in here. But anyways, oh my god, that's hair all over my hands. All right, so now I'm gonna try the shampoo. When you shake it in the bottle, it's like super, like it sounds like it's super, like runny, like liquidy. So I'm curious to see. Oh, it smells nice. It smells pretty. It has like a faint scent to it. All right. The reviews online for this also said that it um that it had a bad smell. But I don't think it smells bad. It has like a really faint kind of like almondy smell. I don't know. I need a little bit more for the ends of my hair. I feel like I'm gonna do a good 
job. I'm lathering my head, so. Take my little scalp massager and use this all over my head. Typically, after I would wash my hair, it would feel like smooth, but this kind of feels. You know when your hair is like really dirty and like you get it wet and then it's kind of like like sticky. Not I don't know how to. It's not sticky, but it's like your hair doesn't feel like super super clean. It's kind of how it feels right now. So I don't know. A lot of the reviews online did say that their hair did not feel clean after. So I'm trying not to have that like in my head, but can't help it. But now we're gonna move on to. The conditioner. Now moving on to conditioner. This is the Maruba Cream Cleanser. So it says for best results, apply the flesh to freshly cleaned hair and comb through. I'm not going to do that. I don't want it to be all the way up here. So I am just going to focus it on my ends like I would all of my conditioners. I don't. I'm not a fan of conditioner. I really only like um, hair mask. I don't think. I feel like conditioners kind of weigh my hair down. So I don't. I'm not a big fan of them. But the top of my hair still feels kind of weird. I didn't like how that shampoo lathered. Like, it did not lather the way that I would want a shampoo to lather. So, I feel like that's why my hair kind of feels weird up here. But now, I am going to move on to the body cleanser. I do like how this is lathering. It's lathering really, really nice. So, usually when I wash my body, I can kind of smell like the body wash like on me. And this, you don't really smell it. Like when I use the wag one, this one, girl, you can smell till tomorrow. It lingers on your skin. It leaves like a nice scent. This, I don't smell anything. So I'm going to finish up the rest of my shower and then I will be back to show you guys the tangle spray, the body cream, and then the deodorant. So, hang tight. I am fully dressed now, out of the shower. My hair obviously is not even combed. So first thing I'm gonna start with is the Tangle Spray. This is the Wild Marula Tangle Spray. It says, suggested use spray evenly over towel dry or damp hair and comb through, no need to rinse, shake before use. So I'm going to shake this up. I'm actually really excited. I love leave-in sprays. I get like super excited whenever I try a new one. So I'm hoping that this one is good. This one I don't think had horrible reviews, not as bad as the shampoo and the conditioner did. So. Hoping this is okay. All right, so it sounds like it's shaken enough. I'm literally just gonna spray it throughout my whole head. It's comb, so I am gonna use the drunk elephant comb. Ooh, this is like super easy. There's like no knots in here. Wow, at all. This is like so easy. Even my Briogeo one doesn't make it this easy to comb through. I also did put a lot of sprays in here though, but still, wow. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the body cream. I told you guys before that I did already try this and I liked it, but I did want to show you guys on camera how it like looks. So it is a thicker cream, so you do have to kind of work it into your skin. Okay, so now time for the deodorant. This is the Sweet Pity Deodorant Cream. So it says, um, suggested use only needs to be applied once per day and always to clean dry skin. Tip may be, may be applied with fingertips if desired. So this is not like your typical stick deodorant. This is more of a cream one. So how do you turn it? What do you do? do you, oh, it's on the bottom. So right over here. Is the little thing to turn it. I have a feeling this is going to be black. I don't know why. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That's how it looks when it comes out. Let's smell it. Oh, it smells like literally everything else in the collection. Okay, so I'm going to apply it. So I'm going to take some off of like the top with my hand. I'm going to use it to just rub it in like that. This feels like a cream, like underneath your arms. So I did just go ahead and like massage it into my underarms 
because it was getting a little messy so that's just what I did to kind of like blend it out um it feels nice it doesn't feel like your typical deodorant because obviously it's like not your standard deodorant um it smells like I said like everything else in the collection I'm just like nervous to see or like nervous and excited to see if it's actually gonna like odor protect because in these summer months, you know, like you can sweat like a lot. And even if you use like the best deodorant, you can sometimes still have a little bit of an odor. So I'm like curious to see how this works, if it actually does do like any odor preventing. Okay, so I'm just gonna let my hair air dry a little bit and then I'm gonna use my Dyson in a little bit, probably like 15 minutes to just finish it off and just finish drying my hair. Um, my hair does feel pretty clean though. Like it doesn't feel like dirty, I feel like. I feel like I'd be able to tell if it still felt kind of dirty so I have to see how my hair like feels once it's dry so once it's fully dry I will come back on and let you guys know how I feel about the hair products so okay. alright guys so this is my hair fully blown out and honestly it is super bouncy and not frizzy which is great because typically my hair can get a little frizzy depending like what products I use and it's not frizzy at all right now which is awesome um also my ends look really really nice they don't look split they look really just like healthy and just like nourished um my hair doesn't feel weighed down my hair does feel pretty clean so okay my thoughts on everything the shampoo i wish it lathered more um like my redken or my briogeo but it did still clean my hair so it didn't like my hair is not weighed down it doesn't feel like there's still like leftover oils or anything in my hair so that's good the conditioner was nice like i said before i'm not a big fan of conditioner I do really prefer a leave-in mask, but I mean that didn't really I mean it really smoothed out my hair It didn't like weigh it down or anything. So I'm not disappointed in that the scalp scrub I did um, Not follow the instructions on that which I should have so that I don't really have like an opinion on but as I was like putting it in my hair I didn't really feel like it was doing too too much But that's probably because my hair was already wet and not dry like I was supposed to use it um, I think the biggest disappointment out of this entire little mini collection was probably the body wash because the scent didn't linger like I really like when I wash my body and like the scent lingers like even if I use a dove or especially when I use my whey body wash my like the scent lingers that like completely absorbed into my skin and smelled like nothing which I don't like because then I don't feel like I showered even though I did I like to still smell the soap afterward you know what I mean um, what else was there? Oh, there was the body cream. The body cream is really, really nice. Um, it is thicker. It does still feel a little bit tacky on my skin right now, but it is practically like fully absorbed into my, into my skin. The scent doesn't linger for too long. So if you're somebody that's like sensitive to scents, don't worry about it. The scent does not linger at all. Um, I really liked the tangle spray. I think it really made my hair super easy to brush through and it didn't weigh my hair down. So sometimes like leave-in treatments, like leave-in conditioners, leave-in like anti-frizz products can really weigh my hair down and I didn't have that issue. I also want to say I do have more thin and fine hair so I feel like the shampoo may not be good for you if you're somebody that has like thicker coarse hair or somebody that has like curly hair. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to you just because like I said it didn't lather all that good and I feel like somebody that has thicker hair than me might ne might not necessarily like that also the scalp scrub i feel like you can like totally live without i don't think that's a necessity in like a everyday like washing your hair routine um let me see oh the deodorant i really liked how the deodorant like the idea that i feel like it's so innovative um i don't have any like not smelly so that's a good sign but i do like how it absorbed into like nothing on both sides which is freaking awesome like who wants to have like all that little white gunk in your underarms like and then I did really really like this comb I thought this comb was freaking awesome but I do feel like if you did want to pick anything up from this like drunk elephant line I would pick up the tangle spray I would I don't think I'd pick up the shampoo yet I'm not exactly 100% sold on it but if I had to pick between the shampoo and the conditioner I think I'd pick the conditioner just because I, like I said, I like a shampoo that lathers a little bit better. So the conditioner, the tangle spray, the deodorant, and then the body cream are the four products that I would recommend to you guys. The shampoo, the scalp scrub, and the body cleanser, I feel like you can live without. I feel like if you're going to invest $20 in a body cleanser, you might as well spend it an extra 8 and get the way one. That one is just frigging, frigging amazing. Um, these all have the same scent. I didn't, like, the scent doesn't linger, number one. A lot of people online were saying that the scent smells horrible but in my opinion I've smelled way worse like hair care products than this so I didn't think the scent 
was an issue at all. Um, if you still wanted to try out the whole collection, this little $50 set is super awesome and you do get pretty much everything. You get the comb, you get every single product. I'm pretty sure it's every single product. And then this cute little green bag, which honestly is the thing that I'm most excited about, is this really, really cute little travel green bag. Love that. But yeah, so the Tangle Spray, the conditioner, the body cream, and that's really... Oh, and the deodorant. Those are the products that I would 100% recommend to you guys. But yeah, so those are all my thoughts on the new Drug Elephant hair and body care line. Let me know down below if you guys have tried it and what you guys' thoughts are. Like I said on Sephora's website, this has like really like bad reviews, it's like two to three stars per product, like a lot of people don't necessarily like this stuff, so let me know down below if you guys have tried anything from this line, and yeah, so that is all I have for you guys in this video, I really hope you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe, and I will hopefully catch you guys in my next video.